Hi guys, welcome to another video from Clifton Cameras. Slightly different one for you for today. Uh, we were lucky enough to work with Mark Aspland, who is the chief sports photographer for The Times. If you've ever picked up this newspaper before, then you'll be sure to have seen some of his exceptional work. We put a few simple questions to Mark in terms of his favourite lenses, delving into his camera bags and learning a little about his early experiences with photography. We've got it all in this video for you and we hope you enjoy it. If there are any lenses or cameras that take uh, any interest to you, then please make sure you head over to our website and take advantage of the free 48 hour test drive that we have on all Canon RF and EF lenses and on the EOS R and SLR ranges. Details on how to book and further information will be on our website and we'll put a link to this on the description below. And right now, I'll hand on over to Mark. Hello, my name is Mark Hasbland. I'm the Chief Sports Storm for The Times and I would like you to take you through my kit bags. Over here are all my long lenses being a sports photographer. This is my trusty F-stop bag which is my rucksack, rucksack bag and this, as most photographers will know, is my think tank bag on my rollies which of course has always got my monopod attached. Um, come on in and I'll show you what's inside. So I started far too many years ago, I think when I was 12, 13, with an Olympus trip, my original Olympus trip. And I then went to college in Sheffield, as did lots of my uh, friends and colleagues, and probably my all-time favourite camera is my Canon F1. Um, I've only used Canon my whole career. I've never changed. I've, I've never ever wanted to change. Picking up this is um, as familiar to me as picking up a toothbrush. And today I'm using the new EOS 1DX Mark III, um, which is, as anybody will know, um, a truly remarkable bit of kit. So welcome to my kit bags. Um, like nearly all photographers that I know, um, we are fairly meticulous in where everything's packed, where everything goes. Now, what I do, which might be slightly different to, uh, to most other guys, I will very often swap around cameras and lenses from one bag to another. So if I had a smaller assignment and I needed a to use my rucksack or I was going on a, an aeroplane, I was doing an assignment abroad, I very, very often swap and change from the F-stop bag to my rolly think tank bag. Just at the moment for football restarts, I have got my think tank bag exactly how I have it all the time and the same for my F-stop bag. Um, my standard lenses are standing rather like um, Apollo rocket ships. We have my lovely 200-400 uh, to 400 zoom, which uh, I adore. Probably my standard lens and my favourite lens in my bag is my 400mm Mark III and my 500mm lens. Um, so in my think tank I have my EOS 1DX Mark III, and then I also happen to have my Mark II stacked in exactly the same places. Um, they're always in exactly the same places. Um, 24 to 70 wide angle lens is in here, also one of my favourite lenses. And of course, 
the lens most more so was used for the side of the goal action, 7200mm lens. Um, this is pretty much the standard bag. However, as I mentioned, this gets changed over all the time. A couple of flash guns, not necessarily a flash guns kind of photographer. I've got 16-35, um, which I really, really like. And quite probably my second favorite lens, favorite lens of all time, is my 85 1.2 um, for that narrow depth of field. So I'm going from my 500mm lens to actually my 540mm lens when we're using the 1.4 converter on this to my Canon 15mm fisheye lens. So the whole range of all of my cameras and all of my lenses are all in within these bags here. As you can see, um, what I've also done part of my kit bag is I've attached my Pocket Wizard Plus 3s. So on the side of the pitch, I'll be shooting the action on this um, short zoom lens and this camera will be behind the net or wherever I wish to choose to put it with attached to the transceiver, that one there. So one fires the other and it gives me my remote pictures. So this is my kit bag. I'm frequently asked um, what is my most um, important piece of equipment in my bag and as you can see it's, um, it's quite varied but even from my Canon F1 days to my um, 1DX Mark III, the most important thing item in my camera bag, whether it's then or whether it's now, is what I record those pictures on. What I capture those pictures on, and I've seen them and I've taken them on any of these cameras and any of these lenses, I think the most important thing is to make sure they're captured. So I'm very often asked, um, what is the most vital piece of uh, equipment in my camera bag? Um, apart from your memory card, um, I think the most vital piece of equipment uh, that I have are my eyes as a photographer the most vital piece of equipment is how we see things how we look at things we're all individual we've all got a unique way of seeing things this marvelous equipment will capture what i'm looking at my most important piece of equipment really is the seeing of those pictures If I had one lens and one camera to choose um, amongst all of these, um, it would have to be the, the Mark III with my standard 400mm uh, Mark III as well. Um, they're both absolutely exceptional and they give me the pictures that, that I can see and they offer just just the most uh, just the best best quality uh, imaginable and a lens which um, looking back on it all has improved or developed my photography um, a lens which uh, which has pushed me further about uh, about thinking about things I'm a sports photographer my standard lens is that 400 mil the one lens which uh, I have to think about and the lens that makes me concentrate is this 85 1.2 um, it is so unbelievably sharp uh, and I adore doing portraits on this lens because the depth of field is so small and so finite that you're taking a picture of a, of a subject using an 85 you focus on their eye and you can see that it's focused and if you breathe in 
or breathe out. If you've moved just a fraction of, fraction of, fraction of, fraction, the ear will be focused and the end of the nose will be sharp. And very often in my world, um, the photographer gets a brief amount of time after the uh, reporter has spoken to um, Jose Mourinho for, for an hour. I will literally get just a few moments after so I've got to be very concise and very clear and very accurate about what I want to take, particularly about trying to absolutely capture the character of that, of that subject. And it's this lens which almost looks straight into the eye of the subject. This is the lens which pushes me furthest. So I'm very fortunate um, being the Times sports photographer and a Canon ambassador that I have the best equipment at my disposal. Um, if I was to add a piece of equipment into my kit bag, um, well tomorrow it will probably be the camera and lens that my son and daughter James and Brogan are uh, kindly doing this filming on right now um, and that's the mirrorless. The mirrorless cameras that I've used uh, certainly um, the, the lenses uh, and the quality are, are just remarkable. Uh, the silent shutters, the it's the advent of a new era from the Olympus trip to the Canon F1 to the, the Mark III, the mirrorless era. It is a dawn of a whole new series of, of cameras and lenses for any photographer at all. So I, would, I am rather very much looking forward to um, adding that piece of equipment which will take this journey even further. Thanks, and I really, really hope you enjoyed peering into my camera bag. Thank you for watching guys and a huge thank you to Mark for putting that together for us. We'll put a link in the description below to all of his social media channels so that you can head over there, give him a follow and have a look at his work in some further detail. We'll also include the link to the Canon free 48 hour test drive that we're currently running so make sure you head over there and have a look at that as well. Thank you again for watching. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help. Uh, make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on any future videos that we produce. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.